load in the cup. Today we could, I can remember what we did yesterday, we made a sea glide, a basic tool, and did some of the first life pot. I think today, I'm pretty sure when we left off yesterday, we had one life pod broadcast that we did not go have a look at yet, so we can look at that today. And I'd also like to find the mobile vehicle by fragments and create a sea mod. That would, I'd be happy with that today. Okie dokie, back on our life pod. Ah, here we go. Mobile vehicle by Bray. Vehicle Bay is what we were wanting to do today. Grab a medkit for the fabricator, but first we can and what have I gone storage? Okay, just want to take inventory of what we had when we left off. Let's see, let's see. That was the blueprint. These are just some new blueprints. Uh, high capacity O2 tank. I'd say we can make that as well today as we're going around. Shouldn't be too hard. So we'll just kind of keep that on the side. Oh, that icon right there. That means we've got a new radio broadcast. I'm not sure if I popped up yesterday and I just want to clarify. That's how I know every time we get a new broadcast. Receiving pre-recorded distress call laying back. This is LifePod 3 uploading our coordinates. We're plugging some holes yes, in our emergency sea glide. So if we're late for the rendezvous, don't panic. Also, don't go home without us. Seriously. Three out. Signal location uploaded to PDA. Okay, we're back at LifePod 3 and we were here yesterday. Sea glide fragments, grab them from the titan. So we, I was definitely here yesterday. But we strangely got the PDA message anyway. Yeah, see? This is white. The kind of logo on the PDA, not blue. That means we haven't got this yet. Integrating new PDA data. Yeah, look on it. New. Normally if there's a blue glow around it, it means you haven't scanned it yet. And if it's white, you have. That was white as if we have, but it's also saying it's new. Okay, it's gone. It seems a couple of stuff is kind of messed up. I'll play this again. You really think it'll carry two of us? Your regular sea glide tows a mass of 80 kilograms at over 30 kilometers an hour. The power cellar rigged to this one should double that. You think there's something out there that's faster? Oh, sure. And that's assuming it doesn't overload three meters from the life pod. You're calm about this. I'm seeing the engineering problem. If I stop seeing the mass, I'll be terrified. Okay. I don't know why that has made us do that again, but that's okay. Seems everything else we've done is saved. Everything, all the physical stuff we've done, such as craft and all. So, a uh, mobile vehicle based fragment we scanned is not. That's okay, we should find them, we'll find them around. Okay, we're back. Also, what I know already, a message. Also, what I. a lot of tests. Door container. We have one more bottle of water left. So we're gonna have to start making water. Stabilizing. Let's have a look at this new message play while we're crafting. Play this, play while we're crafting. this is Ozzy from the cafeteria. What the hell, guys? They didn't want us. This might happen. Our pod was almost crushed by the Seamoth Bay on the way down. Now we're hanging on the edge of a cave system, and this grim-looking snake thing's trying to eat through the hull. Come get us already. Signal location uploaded to PDA. Okay, another signal location. We can head down next. Now, we need to unequip our standard O2 tank. And now we can craft a high capacity one. Very good. We already nearly double the amount of O2 we have at the start of the game. Now we're going to pop a for titanium in here and then we're gonna have a look at a new blueprint uh, no need to craft a new breeder at the moment two more new blueprints left I believe yeah nuclear waste trash can no need for them at the moment anyway grab a medkit for my calculator and now we can head to the next signal PDA location 500 meters bit of a travel there we are. And over there is our 
first the big wreck. We'll have a look in life pod and then we'll have an explore that seconds. way. Hopefully find some useful fragments. New blueprint acquired. I'm not seeing fine Integrating new PDA data. Oxygen. scared and I'm not going outside. There are shadows in the water under the hatch, but I can't tell if they're rocks or aliens. And there's weird looking caves nearby. The Aurora was carrying everything needed to build the phase gate. Mobile vehicle bays, bioreactors, propulsion cannons. It had a cinema. There, there was a zero-G gym. My cafe. I don't understand how we're here now. I don't know why no one's coming for me. Passing 100 meters. Oxygen efficiency decreased. Okay, we've got all of these CMOT fragments to be up by reactor fragments. We've got all the CMOT fragments, now all we really do need is Local the scans here, show a nearby cave entrance. Depth 90 meters, leading to an unknown environmental <coughs> biome. Here we go. There's the way in. Right in the side. Preparing the day's water ration ahead of time will help ensure against dehydration and eventual death. Vital signs stabilizing. Got some basic fragments, just chairs, desk. Oh, you know, <laughs> it's a that just attacked me, not to worry about this. Small creatures that will bite you. Potion cannon. Okay, that's good. Don't need it. Right, Integrating new PDA data. Okay, we've only got 30 seconds left. Let's have a quick scan of this room. And 30 seconds. Battery charger fragment I've just seen there real quick, then we're going to need that. Because at the moment, we're going to we need to make batteries every time we run out. Once we get that, we'll only need a certain amount of batteries. And then we can just charge them on the go. Okay, start back up. I'm going to take the battery and I'm going to put it into my seam. Speed things up a bit. I'm just out of life on the seam. So I'll make it a bit easier to see. Okay, right where we left off. Uh, shoulder, a small door. Yeah, here it is. Okay, this is where we were. Battery fragment was right here, wasn't it? Hopefully, we need two of these because I see one right behind me. Making this as early as possible would be very nice. Okay, we got a PDA in it. Mobile vehicle, great. One more mobile vehicle, great. Oh, we're not popped up when I got the battery charger. Strange. I'll have to have a check as oh, well. Okay. Actually, remember exploring this record in the first page, drawing up a fact there's some good blueprints in here. So, again, we're going to be able to get the good blueprints. We're going to go all the way back to the surface to air. So, I don't want to get too lost in here. I don't want to lose the items we've gotten. I don't want to spawn all the way back at our life part, which will happen. Portion cannon. 60 seconds left. Okay, we're not going to go down that vent until we get some more air. Then we're going to come in and we're going to make a ship like be like for that vent. And then we'll explore. So, anything else in here? Nope, just this proportion kind of thing. Okay. This is why I think you should make the O2 tanks as soon as possible because it's making this much more easy. That is terrible plan. It's making this much easier. 
we got our arrows, we're gonna make a beat on you straight for that event. Seek fluid intake. I had to navigate in here. Okay, here we go, let's go straight down. Don't want to get too much. Warning. Local radiation readings suggest the Aurora's drag core has reached critical state. Quantum detonation will occur within two hours. Okay, that is very, very interesting, and I am very excited for you to see that. Because again, I've already seen it, but trust me, it's a quite a spectacle. Okay, I'm hoping this is where entrance to this wreck is, so normally it's two entrances, because it's going to be quite difficult to be going back up for air every time. We're losing enough air to get into where we are in the first place. It was a very interesting data time, right? I'm gibberish. Okay. Oh. Okay, we got our oxygen. Let me check out our new blueprint. Proportional cannon. Very easy to make. So we don't really want to <coughs> move our vehicle back. <coughs> exactly what we need. Battery charger as well. Okay, let's busy ourselves with the two of them at the moment. Then once we've got our seam off, we can explore the rest of our wreck. Okay, let's head back to our life pod. And then we'll get to work. Okay, we're back on the left pod with some lag. And I need a message on what we need. Most of the stuff we need. This is Avery Quinn, trading ship Sunday. Aurora, do you read? Over. Nothing but vacuum. These Altera ships. They run low on engine grease, they send an SOS, you offer to help, they don't pick up. Aurora, I'm out on the far side of the system. It's gonna take more than a week to reach your position. You still need our assistance. Over. I'll try them again tomorrow. Damn Charter's gonna have us blowing our credits running errands for Altera. See what the long range scans pick up in the meantime. Okay. I guess that's a first clue, so let's see. Trading ship Sunbeam. Now we have two batteries at the moment, so we need to make a power cell for our mobile vehicle bay. Okay, back to the light bulb. Now we've got everything we need to make our power cell. Get our silicone level and our power cell. And it's on the simple. Probably now is some lithium and a titanium ingot. Some spare seam pluses which we can use to make lithium. And for a titanium ingot, <coughs> me, it's quite simple 10 titanium to make one titanium ingot. So we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 more. We'll combine that to make a titanium ingot and then we should be able we're also going to use a spare group C process to make one more piece of lubricant. Two more pieces of lubricant. Three more pieces of lubricant. We have a lot more than I thought. Okay, there we go. And we have the mobile vehicle bay. Pop all of us. There I think. And then we can deploy this. 
use more of your base One more titanium ingot, again, 10 titanium. Power cell, glass, lubricant, lead. We have lead, we have lubricant. We have more than enough titanium, maybe one more piece of metal salvage. We'll use some metal salvage, batteries, we can use some copper, and some acidic mushrooms, and some glass, which is cool. Not enough to get to make at all. Emergency. A quantum detonation is occurring in the Aurora's drive core. The reactor will reach a supercritical state in T minus 10, Okay. Well, there's the explosion of the Aurora, which now allows us to go explore it. I have not actually tried ever to explore it before the detonation, which I will try in creative mode and have a see what happens. But now we can go explore the front part of the ship and access the interior for some very valuable facts. Though we're not going to be doing that today. And we have a radiation suit blueprint as well, which we'll need to craft to go any closer. Again, we're not going to do it today. We're going to use a quartz to make a glass, and we're going to two. See if we've got any spare quartz. We're going to actually take all of our items out from here and see what we're working with. We're also going to take out our last nutrient block. Now we have no more nutrient blocks. Two pieces of water, so we're going to start getting our own food soon. We're going to need to make a batch of we need two to make a power cell, brain freeze, and then we can make a power cell, very simple. Quick look at our blueprint. Okay, power cell, good, lead, good, now let's craft our index. Okay, all we need now is just, I think one or two more pieces of quartz, and we have our Zima. I'm just going to keep what we have on me. This is Officer Keen in Light Pod 19. The captain is gone. I have assumed command. The last thing the captain did was give me coordinates for dry land. We regroup one and a half kilometers southwest of the crash site. Stay together and good luck. This message will now repeat. Rendezvous coordinates corrupted. Transmission origin coordinates downloaded. Signal location uploaded to PDA. Okay. So we did not get the rendezvous location coordinates because they're corrupted, but we did get the location of where that broadcast came from. So hopefully, hopefully we can find the rendezvous coordinates there. Now we have another new message, but we're going to craft our CMOT first. The CMOT is a fast, safe mode of transport, but remember that swimming is good for your glutes and endorphin levels. Okay. Things are starting to go very well. Okay, so we're with the CMOT. We have no upgrades on at the moment. We have no storage. Welcome aboard, and we Captain. We have a maximum depth of 200 meters. Go any deeper and the sea will take damage. So we can upgrade that as we see. I just want to have a quick look at our battery charger blueprint before we head over to that new location. And we'll also play a new message while I'm doing that. Aurora, this is Sunbeam again. We just picked up a massive debris field at your location. I didn't know how bad, how many of you, I, I didn't know. We're now en route to your location. We're gonna bring you home. Sunbeam out. 
What else can I say? The only time I parked a rig this big on a rock that small was in VR. And I blew it. It's a bad option, all right, but so are all the others. Okay, now we can make a computer chip and then we can use that to make a habitat builder. Near blueprint acquired. The builder tool is designed to construct habitats capable of withstanding extreme environmental conditions. Okay, we can use this now to build a habitat when we feel the need to base. We also to build our battery charger. So obviously we haven't got the stuff we need now because we just lost them building this habitat builder. But also because we don't need to have that builder right now we can take the battery out and put it in our center until we need it. So we're just gonna leave a habitat builder in here because we don't need that we need. Along with the coral samples and the copper. I'm also going to bring the flowers because you can use these to distract the stuff. Seek fluid intake. It's either water that we just grabbed or use. Vital signs stabilizing. We got the disinfected ones from the wrecks. You get them from the wrecks of you or you get filtered water from black fish. Okay, let's go explore that signal location. What tells you to do? I need. Welcome to the Bit of a trip ahead of us. Passing 100 meters, oxygen efficiency decreased. Passing 200 meters, oxygen efficiency greatly decreased. Now remember, we don't need this one for the surface anymore. Get these plants in. Um, if I can get them on, but we can get them so that we have them already for later. Before we do eventually craft our plants in. Break that until we get the plants in, but we won't get until much later because we won't have a need for large amounts of ores and force until we get much later. We're we'll gonna head in and explore this wreckage. We can't get into the centers because we haven't got a laser cutter yet. I've always had a bit of difficulty finding the fragments needed for that. I've only found the ones on high take. Let's head in. Oh, okay, we've got a bit of dead end here, so we can't get it that way. So we're gonna need a laser cutter to explore. This part of the rest of the is a little bit more over here. <coughs> Don't want to keep passing 200 mini boxes. Oxygen efficiency that. greatly decreased. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Power cell charger fragments made us this good as well. Power cell is what you use to charge your sim off. But obviously, if we're going to build a new post, we'll have no need for power cell charging. For a sim mod anyway, but this can will be very useful for our side of the shuttle later at modification. The modification station cycle is also just 30 seconds. So we use it to basically make upgraded versions of the tools. We're going to leave our sim mod up here now. We're going to head down to the same location. There's a wreck that we just explored. Passing 200 meters, oxygen efficiency greatly decreased. Again, no predators here. No need to worry. Hope there's a panel here. 
Integrating new PDA data. Okay, we'll let this play now while we explore the rest. Keen, this is Aurora. Come in. This is Keen. Life pod detached to Cape Planet Fall in 30 seconds. The computer has identified a landmass at the attached coordinates. I want you to regroup the crew there. Understood, but they are your responsibility now. Don't let them down. Captain, you need to evacuate. Negative. You'll need the ship in one piece if you're seconds. going to contact HQ on the long range. I'm attempting a controlled descent. Captain! Welcome aboard, Captain. Uploaded to PDA. Integrating new PDA data. Seems like he's sacrificed himself. I'm not sure if he can go around in one piece. Fly with us to scavenge and hopefully contact rescue. Okay, I don't think I want to put there while we were just there. We got the people for high capacity auto tank. But we need a modification station to create this though. But it's very simple, literally. Born in him. We already have the high capacity auto tank, so we don't really need to count down. I think our next episode. We'll start building a base. That's going to be our main goal for the next episode. We also made ourselves a high capacity O2 tank and gathered a couple more supplies. So that's mostly the thing. And then story wise, we explored our first few life pods. We also have one more signal over there, which is dry land. This is the signal the captain gave us when you were out to regroup there. So we can regroup by anyone that's arrived in the world. Yeah. So I guess that's it, I'll see you in the next episode.